thing about seeing Punk getting fired, man. I tell you, that dude there, he got some problems. I don't know what his ego or his too arrogant or what, but he needs to fucking calm his shit. He needs to get him a beard like this and he needs to comb that son of a bitch. And then, he won't be getting fired. I mean, he was a good wrestler sometimes. Sometimes he just be running his damn mouth. Anywho, how y'all doing? This is Cobra Hashtag, leader of the Robot Army, and a defender of the Twilight Sun uh, universe. And these are my friends of Hashtag. And Scully, he's my friend too. And I like to drink Monster Energy Drink when I look for scriptics. And you must wonder, hey, Hashtag, how do you keep yourself in such good shape? Well, thank you for saying I'm in shape. I watch wrestling. You watch wrestling, but you're a grown man. Well, who do you think wrestle? Grown man. And on this exciting episode of Half Sack Friends, I'm going to open this here. Parole Wrestling Crate. I like these for two reasons. Because I can wear t-shirts when I go on the cover. And I like the micro brawlers. I usually give the uh, uh, autographs away to a fellow wrestling fanatic. And this one here has a card right on top. See that? That's how you're going to do it when you get you a... This is the August Bro Pro Wrestling Crate. Yes. I don't want to look at that because that's going to get... Oh, my Lord. Oh, oh, that's... I don't want to look at that. It's going to get too excited. So. You pull that up on top so you know what you got in this here. And the first thing you got here is... It says, Kick Heads in the American Dragon since 1999. So this is a, a Brian on Danielson, a.k.a. Daniel Bryan t-shirt. Foos be saying that the prints on these are shit now. That's why he don't subscribe. I, I don't think he subscribes to this anymore. Because his ass be eating all this damn food from this Foosome food. And he can't fit in these goddamn shirts. He probably needs like a 6X now. My name's Foosome Food. We're going to do a food review. <laughs> I bought this pop. It's called Muff Cabbage. And I'm going to drink it. And guess what it tastes like? Muff cabbage. But I'm going to tell all you folks not to drink it. But I don't think you're smart enough because, anyways, I got this here. Oh, oh, what is this? These are bendable dudes. Oh, this must be something new. So check this out. They got major bendies. This is like back in the old day when you could bend some shit. Like a toy. They used to bend. It's like a stress ball for the kids. And then I got this here face man. I don't know whose shirt this is. Oh, this is a Jay White t-shirt. I usually try to sell these to recoup my money too. Because I don't want to walk a mile with a grown man's face on my chest. Especially with that beard. My beard is better than his. So, Jay White, you are going to be sold at the next convention. Hey, I'm going to give a fucking Ethan Page... Jonathan Mango said he ran into you and you wouldn't give him a picture. Now, I know you a whole wrestler, a little freshener wrestler, but shit, man, he's a fucking a professional fucking undercover cryptic hunter, and that's why your ass was scared of that bat. If you'd come got half sack and Jonathan Flamingo, Mr. Page, trying to hide behind Sergeant Slaughter, you pussy. That's what you get for not giving Jonathan Flamingo a picture. And then how you gonna ask fucking Jake the Snake? Oh, hey Jake, what's your favorite toy as a kid? Did you did you not watch Behind the Ring, you silly sap son of a bitch? Jake was poor, you dumb whore. He didn't have a lot of shit. You'd know that if you'd watch Behind the Ring, stupid. You're a wrestling fan, how can I know that? You're supposed to be a professional wrestler. You think you do some research on some shit before you do a podcast. Stupid. Every next time you take a picture with Johnny Flamingo. Oh, and the Johnny Flamingo told me you was in there taking his shit. Dropping bombs like Baghdad. He can hear him going plop, plop, fizz, fizz in the toilet like a goddamn alcohol seltzer tablet. Mr. Ethan Page. Mr. All oh, Ego. How you gonna have an ego when you're taking a shit at a convention? Ain't got no shame. And you didn't, you didn't put the damn lights out. Oh, shit. This is adorable. Um, I don't know who Skinner is. Who's Skinner? This is, is a 250 chance, I don't know, but I'm about to look this up. Because sometimes I'll be doing this shit, I don't know who this is. So we're going to look up Skinner. 
uh, the professional wrestler. S K I N N E R. Well, that's not an E. Enter. Uh, wrestler. Oh, there we go. Kevin St Steve Kern. His name was Steve Paul Kern. He is a retired wrestler for the NWA. He was part of the Fabulous Ones. He was in the WWF as a skinner. I never heard this man. But, uh... Apparently he was a professional wrestler. He was in WWE for two years. Oh, he was in WCW for one year. And he retired in 2001. Uh, yeah, so I don't know who the hell he is, but this is his fucking mystery, dude. Early life. He says this is from, uh, he was from uh, Tampa, Tampa, Florida. Oh, his daddy was a B-17 pilot, and he was shot down in Germany. He became POW. Well, guess what, Miss Skinner? Now you part of the school club. He was shot over Vietnam. What? Who? Wait a minute. This is his daddy was shot down in 1944 and become a POW. And then in 1965, his damn daddy was shot down again. Damn. His daddy stopped flying airplanes from sounds of it. Shit. His daddy got his own page too. Richard Kern. He was a colonel and a pilot for the U.S. Air Force. He was one of two United States service members to be a prisoner of war and bore... World War II in Vietnam. Well, good God, sir. You served this country proud. That guy's got balls of steel. Oh, I got a pen here. Who's this pen? Hey, man, this is supposed to be a fucking... Oh, man. Brody King. He's part of the fuck. Hey, this is ain't no damn chase either. Big head prick. He's part of the Malachi's group, a.k.a. Alistair Black. Alistair Black's married to, uh, uh, eat no, damn it, damn it. She's part of LLWO. Oh. I can't think of her name, but the part of the... Anyways, there's some socks. I know a guy likes these socks, boy. What kind of socks are these? Oh, man, these Brian Pellman socks, man. These are some super kick socks. I got these for you, Twisted Critters. You're going to get these, boys. You like socks. You walk around barefoot at conventions and shit, kicking people in the fucking head. This is the cheapest fucking sting patch I've ever seen. Hey, it's his scampion. It's his sting. Ah, couldn't give me nothing better than that shit. Then we got us an autograph. I know who this autograph is. It says, uh, I was Butterbane. He's a boxer. Hey, I seen this dude. He came to real cool Comic Con one time. Half Sack and Foose was there. Everybody thought Half Sack was a goddamn free bird. Michael P.S. Hayes. Well, that wasn't who he was. He was Half Sack. So, anywho, uh, I highly recommend subscribing to the Pro Wrestling Crate. I have not been disappointed with anything, unlike the uh, Loot Crate. Not Loot Crate. Uh, well, fuck, I can't even remember what the hell it's called because it sucks so bad. Well, not bam. Oh, Zuby, man. Zuby ain't got shit. They don't give me a t shirt, some bitches. So, anyways, subscribe to my channel. Look out for Foose and his food. Some busy gonna fuck around and have a heart attack. And, uh, Ethan Page, do some more research on people you fucking interview at goddamn comic conventions, you silly goose. And next time, Flamingo wants a fucking autograph when you're taking a shit, maybe you should give him one. Mutt with foot, we watch out for the wear, beaver. I went to the crossroad. I fell down on my